lights out situation or let's say i don't know you're just off grid or something or you're camping or whatever situation may be and you need hot water this is a solar shower and i'm going to show you exactly how it works hey everyone morgan here so there are actually two ways to use this solar shower so the first way is to fill it up and then let the sun heat it which i'm going to show you here in just a second the second way is to actually boil some water and then put it in here and use this as a shower. And this is what we did when we lived off grid in Alaska for a while when we didn't have plumbed hot water. So this was a really good, easy access way. You know, it's not like it's giving super hard pressure or anything, but it gave us a nice shower. We boiled water and we put it right in here and it was a great little shower for us. So let's go ahead and show how it works. I am going to fill it with my rainwater because I can and it's been raining a lot and I need to use it. So let's do it. There we go, just fill it up. Okay, so it's a very hot day today, so this should heat up pretty fast. You wanna put it somewhere where it is direct on the sun. Right now it is around 2.30, so it is direct on the sun. There is a temperature gauge right here. This water's already been sitting outside. It hasn't been cold or anything. Room temp water will be really good, but you know, this water has um, been outside in the rain barrel, so it's already kind of warm as it is. So you will see here in just a little bit um, what this gets up to, and, and then I'll show you. So the directions say that this can actually reach 113 degrees in three hours, you know, with direct sunlight. I have good direct sunlight right now, so we're gonna come back in a few hours and see where it's at. This is actually a really ideal solution though, because if you think about it, it, you let this warm up during the day with the direct sunlight, and then you can take a shower in the evening or something like that, right? So it kind of works out really well. So I have it flipped like this, um, because this is where the water is, and this is where um, the black part is. You can definitely try to heat it on the other side as well. It might just take a little bit longer um, to heat up, but um, this side, you know, it's black and this is where the water is and all that. So we're just gonna check it after a few hours. And um, this is logically how I've always done it. All right, it's been a couple hours in the sun. This says it is at 122 degrees. That's pretty good. You know, it feels it feels very, very warm. I put it in the shade just so you guys know it's not like, oh, you know, you're seeing the you're just seeing the sun on it. No. Uh, so yeah, so it's it was 2.30, now it's 5.30. It's actually over the temp that it said it would get in three hours. It said it would get to 113, but it got to 122. It's a really hot day, hot sun. So let's go ahead and I don't really have a good spot to hang it. I just realized this was not very tightly snug on there, so it's been leaking a little. It stopped now, but like it was leaking while I was on there. Stupid. <laughs> this doorknob is literally the only place I can find to hang it. So all, all you do from here is it is gravity fed. So, you know, you're going to be pulling it out. I know you guys won't be able to feel it. Oh my gosh, that's hot. <laughs> I mean, I know it's at 122 degrees, but holy moly, that is hot. Wow, 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 wow. So because there's extra room in here, it goes this. Because there's extra room in here, you could get a, um, a gallon or two of water and make it cooler if you wanted to. That is nice hot water. You know what would be really great with this too is if you wanted to warm up water to do dishes or something like that. Obviously, I did not fill it up all the way. This is a five gallon, but it's super impressive you know, how hot it gets. So I love it. I think everyone should have one of these for emergency purposes, camping, you know, whatever. I think that they're just great to have. Um, it's a solar shower. You can just hang it up on a tree, you know? Um, and like I said, the other way to use it was to boil. So um, it's effective, it works. It's just a nice little, nice little shower for, for your off-grid living, your camping or uh, emergencies and disasters. Thank y'all so much for watching. Talking tomorrow about today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.